I started off working at a Curry Bay, which is a pearl farm. It's not, I don't think it works any, it's in operation anymore, but it's about 240 nautical miles north of Broome. And it, um, Curry Bay gets its name from a, a Japanese gentleman called Mr. Curry Bayashu. Worked there as a pearl shell cleaner, I suppose, for want of a better word. Worked in a dump dinghy and then was a drift diver for a bit and then moved on and became the captain of the lugger, the course called the B1 in those days. When I went to Curry Bay I was 27 and I'd just driven up from Geraldton and on, on the way to driving up young Tom was born. I sort of left home, Marlene was pregnant and about to give birth and when I reflect back on that it was nice. I think in those days you sort of didn't feel a lot, you just sort of got on and did it and it's only now when I reflect back or think about you know, those past, that past history or those memories that it has a fondness, I suppose. I guess, you know, when you go to sea and work on boats in, in that sort of industry, there's, there's lots of strong characters. Good old Shioji, you know, he'd write down everything meticulously. I remember one day he was, we were in the duck pond in Darwin, which is where all the ships park up in Darwin, and I was driving a big boat at that stage, and I remember being up on the flybridge of a boat that was probably twice as big as Shioji's and giving him a little wave and I felt quite proud to have worked with him and, and he taught me some things I suppose in terms of being diligent or careful. I remember one day down at the lugger shed down the road, Mida, who we, um, I showed you in that short film about the wet concrete, Mida with his hands doing in this macrame that made a, a throw net and he just did it sort of really quickly, it was quite amazing. I was born in England in 1962, moved to Australia in my early primary school years and my name's Richard Mayhew.